the rear pannier adapters attach to your globe's rear rack. It provides the attachment points necessary for panniers and side bags, including the cool cave. You will need the small torque wrench that came with your bike, along with the 3 and 4 millimeter bits. Additionally, you'll need a 4 millimeter hex key and an 8 millimeter flat wrench. This video is a visual aid to be used with the detailed assembly guide. You will need to remove the rear wheel to make installation possible. Please watch how to remove and replace the rear wheel video. We will start on the drive side with the derailleur and gears. Place a washer on a long 35 mm bolt and insert it through the adapter block and adapter arm. Add another washer to the end and thread on the M5 nut by hand. Do the same on the other end of the adapter. With the flat side facing outward, insert and rotate two T-nuts into either side of the rack rail. The T-nut fixing screws may be installed. Doing so can also help get the T-nuts fully seated in the rail. Align the adapter on the rail and down at the dropout mount. Slide T-nuts into place behind the bolt holes. Then insert a 16 mm bolt through the block and thread into the T-nut and again on the other block. Place a large washer on an M6 threaded stud and insert it through the dropout mounting hole from inside. Place an M6 washer on an M6 bolt and insert it through the lower adapter mount into the stud. Use the small torque wrench with the 4 mm bit to tighten the dropout bolt to 8 newton meters. Use a 4 mm hex key to hold the stud if needed. Use the torque wrench with the 4 mm bit and the 8 mm flat wrench to go back and complete tightening the slide adapter bolts to 6.2 newton meters. Also use the torque wrench on the front bolts to 6.2 newton meters. Yes, do it in this order please. Well that was fun. Let's do it again for the adapter on the other side. Repeat the steps from the other side in the same order, leaving all the bolts loose except for this attachment. You need to remove the rear wheel to access this bolt hole. Watch the rear wheel removal video to learn how. With the wheel removed and the bike still flipped over, insert this bolt assembly. Now tighten that bolt assembly. Then tighten the remaining bolts in the same order and to the same torque values as the other side. Wondering why you have some extra hardware? There are multiple mounting locations for the Hall LT. Please refer to the detailed instructions in the assembly guide for additional information.